Good day to you. Today we're going to be finding the molecular mass of iron 3 sulfate. Take a look at the table I've made. It's a nice, simple process. Bam. So the first step is to write down the elements we see in the compound. So we have iron, we have sulfur, and we have oxygen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So the subscript of iron is a 2. That means we have 2 iron. Now the subscript of sulfur here is a 1. But we don't have one sulfur because sulfur is tied up inside of the polyatomic anion sulfate. So all you have to simply do to find the total sulfur is take that subscript of sul sulfur and multiply it by the outer subscript of 3. So the total amount of sulfur then would be 3. And then same thing for oxygen, you just multiply those numbers together so it's 12. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each element. And those masses are found on the periodic table, so let's take a look. So iron here is going to be 55.85, oxygen is 16, and sulfur is about 32.07. So those are the values we're going to write down. So for iron here we have uh, 55.85, the sul uh, sulfur uh, mass is about 32.07, and then oxygen is going to be 16. Then to find the total mass of that element in the compound, we just have to simply multiply this row on across. So the total mass of iron here will be about 111.7. The total mass of sulfur then is going to be 96. Point we make that a little neater, 2, 1. And then the total mass of oxygen is going to be 192. So then to find the total mass of the entire compound, guess what we got to do? Just add up all the total mass of each element, right? So this is going to work out to be 399.91. And the units here in terms of AMU, all right, because we're dealing with molecular mass, and those are the units. So that's all there is to it. Now you know how to find the molecular mass of iron 3 sulfate. And check out our channel. We've got thousands of other videos out there, not only in chemistry, but, well, chemistry, I guess, organic chemistry, right? Not only inorganic here, but organic. We also have uh, physics, and we have mathematics, and we have a whole bunch of other stuff, all right? So check us out. We'll see you soon.